you want to rank number one on Google. How do you think you do it? Most people say you need to build links. Most people say you need to do on-page SEO, but where do you start? Hey everyone, I'm Neil Patel, and today I'm gonna share with you seven free tools that'll help you rank number one on Google. My first tip for you is Quicksprout Analyzer. Quicksprout's a free tool. You go to quicksprout.com, you put in your URL, it's a gamified SEO application, and it'll tell you and break down all of the things that are wrong, and it'll even walk you through how to fix them step by step. For example, if you're not putting in the right keywords in your title tag, your description, or in your all image tags, Quicksprout will tell you, and you just click a button, and it even shows you which keywords to add where. And you know what? But the cool part about Quicksprout is if you're not technical and you want to publish these changes, you don't need to know coding. Quicksprout can publish them all for you. The second tool I have for you, if you're using WordPress, is a Yoast SEO plugin. It's one of my favorite tools. It has a free version and a paid version. I personally use a paid version, but you can pick either one. They're both amazing. Now with the Yoast SEO plugin, Every time you publish a blog post, it'll give you a score and tell you, hey, here's how you can do your title tag, your meta description, and you can pick different keywords and show search engines something different than what you show users. And the cool part about the Yoast SEO plugin is you can optimize each and every single one of your blog posts to get the maximum amount of traffic. And every time you release a new blog post, it even updates your sitemap for you automatically, which gets me into my third free tool, Google Search Console. And now with Google Search Console, what it ends up doing is every time you publish a new blog post or a page, you have an XML sitemap. The XML sitemap is probably gonna be created by the Yoast plugin. That's what I use and that's what most experts use. You then submit it to Search Console. In addition to that, Search Console shows you how many impressions you're getting, how many clicks you're getting, which pages are popular, and it even shows you which keywords you're getting a lot of impressions for but not a lot of clicks. You can then go and optimize your content by adding those keywords in, adjusting your title tag, your meta description to include those keywords, and maximize your click to Rate. This will increase your rankings without you having to build even one single link. The fourth tool I have for you is Google Trends. Let's say there's a car industry and there's General Motors and BMW. They both have millions of dollars to spend on SEO. They both have millions of backlinks. How does Google know? Should you rank General Motors or BMW? Well, one of the factors within Google is brand queries. And Google Trends shows you this. As you can see, BMW is more popular than General Motors. So if more people are typing in BMW and all the other SEO factors are very similar, what are they gonna do? They're gonna rank the more popular car manufacturer ahead of the other. The fifth free tool I have for you is WebsiteResponsiveTest.com. Did you know more people are using Google from their mobile or tablet devices than they are from their desktop or laptops? That's crazy, but just think about it. Phones these days aren't like the old Saved by the Dell Zach Morris days where they have those big brick phones. Nowadays they're small and they're really powerful. Sometimes they're more powerful than some old computers. So you want to make sure your website is responsive and people on mobile devices can load your website extremely fast. And using this free tool, it'll show you how other website and mobile visitors are seeing your website. The sixth tool I have for you is Screaming Frog. Screaming Frog is a super technical SEO tool. You put in a URL and it shows you every little thing that's wrong, from titles to headings to keywords to links. It analyzes every little thing from a super advanced technical framework. So make sure you check out Screaming Frog. And last but not least, Google Page Insights. Google Page Speed Insights shows how fast your website loads. And if it loads slow, that's okay. They break down a list that shows you what you need to improve both for desktop devices and mobile devices so that way your website can load extremely fast. Because here's the thing, if someone's on your website and it's loading slow because these days more people are using mobile phones, what do you think they're gonna do? They're gonna leave. Sure, there's fast internet connections and LTE and 4G, but you know what? Some areas still have shitty reception. So make sure your website loads extremely fast. 
Now check out those tools, they work really well and if you want more tools and tips like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be releasing more videos soon that cover more SEO tools that can help boost your rankings as well as tips so that way you can climb faster to the top.